Black Myth Wukong is only about a month away from releasing. I am so excited for it and the closer we get to it, the more we see of the world, characters, and more of the story. Here on this channel, I love to analyze and make theories for video games. Here I'm going to talk about one moment in one of the trailers that has a lot of players confused, including myself. A lot of players believe there is a huge mystery going on in the background of this game and the answer may not be so obvious. Here is that moment. So it turns out there are two versions of Wukong that's in this gameplay. But before we tackle this mystery with my own theory, let's go ahead and dive into the book Journey to the West to see if there's a possible explanation. In the book, there is a monkey that Wukong heard of who looked directly like him, almost like a twin. And when the two monkeys found each other, they began to fight. Their fight was so big it even went to the heavens. The deities and the gods there could not tell the difference between these two monkeys. Later on, both of the monkeys in their fight went to the underworld and the gods and deities there also could not find out which one was the real monkey and which was the imposter. There was only one being in the entire universe that could tell the difference between these two monkeys and that was the all-powerful Buddha. Buddha is a being that's above all gods who instantly pointed out the imposter and Wukong quickly killed him. So it seems one of the monkeys in this trailer is actually an imposter of Wukong. But this is where the mystery expands the more you look into it. In the gameplay that was shown, and we see a lot of gameplay of the monkey that's in blue. It could be seen in many places. However, we also see gameplay for the monkey that's in armor as well, which is very strange. To further add to this mystery, the official Black Myth Wukong Twitter page had a link to a post by NVIDIA that was giving a summary of the game. They were talking about both Journey to the West and Black Myth, but they added this line here specifically. Journey to the West is thought to be the introduction of Sun Wukong. In Black Myth Wukong, you will set out as the destined one who many speculate could be Sun Wukong. What exactly do the developers mean by this? They're trying to make a divide between the original story, Journey to the West, and Black Myth Wukong, but to put this here that people are speculating that the monkey is Wukong in the gameplay trailer, it's really weird. And I want to try to answer this mystery and try to solve what's going on here. Now I'm sure in the game we can select armor to wear as customization, but story wise, why are we seeing gameplay for these two monkeys if one of them isn't the real Wukong just like in the book? My theory is there are two separate monkeys that's going to be a part of this story. And we will be starting out as the fake Wukong, which I will talk about his identity in a little bit. So the game starts with an older version of Wukong sitting on a stone. He's telling us this is the real story that he's about to share, and it starts out with a golden cicada. It then cuts to a golden cicada, and it is Wukong that is transformed into a cicada. Later on, playing the game as this monkey wearing blue, you go up, you fight a boss, and when you're about to kill it, the real Wukong appears, and he stops him from killing the beast. Now, what evidence do I have that this version is the real Wukong? Well, we see this Wukong later go up into heaven and fight the actual armies of heaven, which happens in Journey to the West in the original story. But if you pay close attention to the initial scene where it's showing him, you can also see his headpiece kind of go backwards like it's floating, and you see that when he's actually flying up into heaven as well. I think that the huge mystery of this game is that we're going to be going back and forth between the original Wukong and this other version. And I think so, even though in the original novel, these two actually fight 
in the game it seems like it's not going that way because we see other scenes where the Wukong that's wearing blue is actually in. Now, a very small moment that also supports that there will be two monkeys is the old monkey we saw earlier. Some of his dialogue is a bit weird. He's trying to say in this little piece of dialogue that this is the real story. You know, some say Wukong did this, some say Wukong did that. But then he adds this little tidbit of information that the real Wukong might have just died on this journey to the West. Yeah, 那个城府的根本不是他，真正的他早就死在了星星。Now, personally, I don't really think it means too much, but the context of there being two monkeys that were playing uh, in this game, it kind of raises an eyebrow to this. Now, speaking of the older monkey, we actually saw two different versions of Wukong as he's older. We have this one here, who's sitting on the stone. You can tell it's a monkey based on his fingernails, his hair, uh, how he's sitting. And there's another shot of the same monkey with his clothes kind of floating, indicating he has attained Buddhahood, which Wukong does get at the end of the original story. But then there's also this version of an older Wukong who is blowing off the headpiece that was given to him on this journey in order for the monk to control him, the monk he's trying to protect anyways. And he's blowing the dust off, and since he's not wearing it, it's indicating that his journey is also over. So we have two older monkeys that both completed the journey to the west. Now there's an argument to be made that these two are the same monkey except one is much older. Given the context that we saw in a cutscene there are two different monkeys, in gameplay there are two different monkeys, you have the developers saying that people are speculating that we're playing as Sun Wukong. It's not too far-fetched to say that this is two separate characters that are just much older after they completed their journeys. Again, it's really weird to think about but I really do think that there's some merit to this theory that I'm making. Now who is this copycat Wukong? So in the book, in the chapter I just described where Buddha actually points out which is the fake Wukong, he actually tells Wukong that there's four celestial monkeys and the one that was impersonating him was the six-eared macaque. So perhaps the developers are trying to play with this aspect of the story that there's two Wukongs but maybe we follow the path of both and perhaps one of them dies towards the end. I really want an answer as to why we're seeing two monkeys on the screen at the same time and I'm really curious what the hell they're going to do to answer that. But I cannot wait for this game to come out. We're one month away. I am very excited. Expect more content on Journey to the West aka Black Myth Wukong. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to be out of here. Thank you guys and girls for listening. Deuces.